Hey guys, another coach's class for you today and we're going to hit the entire body in today's class. So upper body, lower body, some core work and then finishing with carrying. For upper body, we're going to do an upright row. We want a shoulder width stance, head and chest up. We're going to draw all the way so up the chest tight and then right back down to that one at the bottom. Leading the way of the elbows, keeping them above the wrist at all times. For our lower body, we do a reverse lunge. We'll stick with just one weight for this one. So keeping the weight of the chest tight, we stride backwards, power up off the front foot, and then we will alternate legs with each stride. So that's upper lower. For core, we're going to drop down onto the floor and just use one small weight, small kettlebell or dumbbell, whatever you have, and do a figure of eight. So we're going to cycle the legs in and out while we pass the weight over and under the legs, forming a figure of eight as it goes. And then to finish the cardio, we're back up on the feet, we're going to do some jogging on the spot, but instead of just spreading your jogging, we're going to do it with a high knee, we're going to try to get the knee right up to hip height for the 30 seconds, okay? So ready for that one step with upright rows, and we are starting in five or six seconds. So two, one, and off we go. Upright rows for the first 30. Elbows nice and high, back straight, and always keep the elbow above the wrist so it keeps your wrist in a nice strong position. Okay, so you just want to roll as high as the chest, right back down into that one at the bottom. 10 more seconds of those, then we take a 15 second breather before moving on to the lower body. Two, one, and rest. Good. So for lower body guys, we just hold the weight centrally, head and chest up. We're going to be striding backwards and then powering up off the front foot and alternating legs with every stride. So ready in two, one, and off we go. Nice deep reps, bending both knees, drop them down, but you're stopping just short of the back knee touching the floor. Then you power up with the front foot and alternate over legs, okay? So past halfway, keep that going for another 10 or 15 seconds and we'll go down onto the ground for some core work. Five and five. Two, one, and rest. Good. So for a figure of eight, we're going to slightly lean back the upper body, elevate the legs, we're going to cycle the legs in and out, and we're passing the weight over and under. Okay, so ready for it. We go in two, one, and off we go. So you keep the feet off the floor throughout, cycle the legs in and out, your length back throughout as well to engage the core muscles, and we're passing the weight over and under. Okay? So another 15 seconds to go on that, then we'll take another breather before finishing with the carry on. So keep moving, keep cycling those legs right in and out, kettlebells going over and under. Two, one, and next. Good. So we're going to do jog on the spot with a high knee. I'll show you side on. You want to bring your knee roughly up to hip height. The pace and tempo doesn't have to be too high, but just focus on getting a high knee. Okay? So two, one, and off we go. Knee right up as high as the hip. And just keep breathing through it. Just 30 seconds in the scan, you guys. And then we're back around to the upper body after that. So 15 to go, keep those knees up. Keep moving, 10 more seconds. You get a break after this. Final five. Two, one, and rest, good. We're back around to our first and so is the upright row. Bit of an easier one this time. Head and chest up. Draw on the weight up to chest tight. Back down to that one at the bottom. Okay, so a couple of deep breaths. And then ready for it, two, one, and off we go. Upright rows. Elbows high, back straight, core muscles contracted. Draw the weight up to the chest, and then right back down to that one at the bottom. Okay, so halfway through there already. After this, we're back on the lower body with the reverse lunges. So 10 more seconds. Five and five. Two, one, and rest. Good. So reverse the lunge again. Just one way we're doing this today. Keep the weight central, upper chest height, head and chest up, straight backwards, 
power up with the front foot. Two, one, and off we go. Good deep reps, and always pushing up and off that front foot. Alternating legs with each stride. Okay, so keep those going another 15. Then we're down onto the core again for some, onto the ground for some core work. 10 more seconds. Five and five. Two, one, and rest. Good. Our finger of eight so down on the ground. Again, we're going to lean back. That's engaged in the core. Then once we elevate the legs, we're going to cycle them in and out and pass the weight over and under. Two, one, and off we go. So keep the legs up throughout. Don't even touch the floor. Bring the knee in towards the chest. All to the legs. Pass the kettlebell over and under. Okay, so we're just going past halfway now. Nearly there. Then we're on to our last one, a bit of cardio, we'll get the finish. 10 more seconds on core, keep moving. Keep those legs cycling in and out. Five and five. Two, one, and rest. So a couple of good deep breaths, basically, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Get the oxygen around the body, help yourself recover. We're going to finish with the high intensity, high knees. So ready for it. Two, one, and off we go. So get the knee right up to hip height. Just jog on the spot, the pace doesn't have to be super quick, but we're focusing on getting the knee right up as high as limit. Okay? So keep that going on 15. This is the last 15 seconds in the circuit. Finish it out strong. Final 10, almost there. Sprint it out now, final five. Go quick as you can for the last few seconds. Two, one, and rest. Great job, guys. Excellent stuff. Another great class done for today, so hope you enjoyed that one. And remember, stay safe, stay home, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a minute.